I write in a forest. I go there to listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in 2015 in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong commitment and journey. Something is always moving through us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 324, July 16th, 2012. There are mushrooms popping up all over this forest floor. Research shows this is amazing for all collections of trees. Fungus is a connection between the surface that allows trees to communicate with each other. The reason why the area in question has been covered with all of these mushrooms is because of a water line break. For three weeks, this area was dug up and then spread out to dry. The mushrooms are acting like communication experts, doing all they can to reconnect these trees I love so much, especially the smaller trees that need to know where the new nutrients are. To survive the summer heat, they need to speak. And it's these mushrooms that create those lines. They need to grow strong. The lines of communication were severed when we dug things up in search of something else that was broke. I almost feel like that I'm the cause of these silenced trees. What if humans grew mushrooms? Would we be better with community-driven connections or be afraid of what we assume is already bad? Maybe we do have mushrooms and we just don't recognize it. How often have you walked in a group of people and you see someone and you know what they're thinking? I think it reaches beyond intuition. Now, Buddhism will tell you it's because we've lived this life before. You've had this conversation some other time. But what if we had those communication specialists somewhere in our eyes, in the way that we move, in the way that we grow? to where we could communicate without using these things, your lips, your voice, or your thumbs, texting, sending out messages, doing that social networking thing. And we all know what kind of communication is going on there. It doesn't require mushrooms. It just requires data. I found it to be extremely amazing to see how everything beneath what we think is normal is actually connected in a way that allows all living things to speak. And then I began to wonder, is it true that maybe they're speaking to us as well? And as we walk on top of the surface, maybe we're picking up that vibration, that feeling of, hey, look, I know what you're doing today, but maybe you should think about it first. Or something that says, I want you to have a brilliant day. I know yesterday and last night were pretty tough, but let's grow forward and let's be positive. I love it when I walk outside each morning and the deer are standing there maybe four or five feet away from us, just staring. Those big brown eyes, those swishing white tails, a stomp here, a stomp there, but they're just looking at us. It's as if they're saying, I love you. Thank you for believing in us. Mushrooms. Communication specialists. What are yours? We've all got to have them, right? Because we're part of the Living Things celebration. And we are to respect all living things. What do your mushrooms look like? What are they saying to others when you walk by? I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.